Okay, everybody. I hope you can't stop a good feeling. If you have a bad feeling, that is one you should stop. But if you have a good feeling, then you should keep that going here on, what day is it? Wednesday. It's Wednesday afternoon. We've already had this discussion. We thought it was Tuesday. We thought it was Thursday. We're landing, splitting the difference on Wednesday. So happy Wednesday, everybody, and welcome to Online 2.0. We have some really great information for you for a new app with traditions plus innovation. We also have some good stuff for you for the way you're already running your meeting. As the president or someone who supports a president in an online or a hybrid chapter, this is for you. And we know that there will be people who come on later, so I'll keep uploading things into the chat as you need them. We'll introduce everybody, we'll get settled, make sure you're hydrated, get a comfy place, you don't need good lighting. We can't see you. For all we know, you could be lying on the floor. So just relax, be comfortable, but we do want you to be engaged in this. That is what this is all about. So if you haven't already, let us know in the chat where you're from. And if you like an idea that we have, use the reactions and give us some floating emojis. That makes us feel really happy inside. And Zach and Rob and I would love to see the hearts. Yes, we'd love to see the thumbs up and the celebration. I love that horn, the confetti horn. That's my favorite one. So that's a good one. If you're surprised, there's a there's an emoji that looks like this. That's a good one. If you're like, I can't even believe that just happened. So that's how you're going to respond to us. And we have slides and words aplenty to respond to you. So I'm going to introduce my two colleagues here in just a minute when they get to talk about their aspect. But I want to take care of a little housekeeping first and make sure that you know, as a member of the leadership team, we this year are collecting your information in a little bit different way. I'm putting a link into the chat right now to a form that's called the Leadership Team Agreement Form. And this is a form that's been standard for several years now. We just need you to fill in some information, sign it and submit it, and then we will send you the Leadership Team Manual. This manual is going to be a great resource for you all year. You'll be able to look at the agenda as you're running your meetings as president. If you are happen to be on here and you're not a president, but you just want to know what's happening, you're welcome to be here. Your section will also be in the same manual. It's the same for everybody. So as soon as you click and submit that form, within 24, 48 hours, you should get your manual. And another great resource for you all year long will be your chapter success coach. And I know that there are at least a couple here, names I recognize, some managing directors and some chapter success coaches. These people are also very good resources. They care about your success. And so ask them the questions that you have. What are we doing today, Jenny? Well, I have found myself in this position a lot this month. This is the last one. It's kind of sad, but not really. All right, here's what we're doing today. We are going to talk, first of all, about some online meeting engagement pro tips. How do you keep the meetings that are online interesting, moving quickly, and keep your visitors and your members engaged? I'm just going to give you a few best minute practices for about 10 minutes or so, and then we are going to launch into the second part of our agenda, which is a demonstration of a new app that is going to enhance if not revolutionize your online meetings. So if you are an all online chapter, that's great. This is gonna help you. If you're a hybrid chapter, this will help you in your online meetings that you're having not the first part of the month. And if your chapter hasn't decided, then let's let this part be your research. Maybe your chapter hasn't made that decision. And after seeing what's available to you, you'll say, hybrid might be a nice place for us to meet in the middle because some people want online, some people want in-person, this might be a good one, and online might be more interesting. And periodically, and again at the end, we will have plenty of time for your questions because we know they will be plentiful. Just know that we will send a recording and these slides to you at the end so that you can go back over them, ask your questions, and share them with people in your chapter. As I say that, I am going to look and say, yes, I am recording. I want to verify that yesterday, I forgot. So that being said, let's find out what is already happening in your chapters. I want to launch a quick poll. If your chapter is hybrid or online, I'm guessing some, if not all of these things are going on in your chapters. 
So think about what's happening now on your weekly meetings. Are you using backgrounds in intentional and creative ways? Do you, or does your present president use meeting stimulants? Like, hey, everybody, this year, or this week, I want you to hold up a prop or I want you to wear a hat or do something. Uh, are you using the chat in a good way so that people aren't being distracted, but they're actually enhancing the meeting experience? Maybe some of you are using various kinds of music like we did here when we started. Breakout rooms, polls, and reactions. All of these are available to you depending on your version of Zoom. Maybe you need to update so you get more features. But look at what is already, well, you can't see what's happening, but I'll tell you what's happening as people are giving me info. Lots of people using breakout rooms. I like to see that. I'm going to share the results in another five seconds or so. So hurry and decide what you do. Tell me, tell me, tell me. All right. Let me tell you what you just told me. Lots of, user, lots of you are using breakout rooms. That is so important. So thank you for doing that. It makes it easier for your members to interact with each other, but it's so, so, so important for your visitors. Also, you can start to see, maybe if your chapter isn't doing these things, as president, you may decide, in my first month as president, I think I'm going to try this one and just do one thing at a time, maybe try to up your game, or maybe October is just about getting used to being president and November can be one of these. But all of these are things that we're going to talk about. No surprise, I chose them very intentionally because they're the ones I want to cover. So first let's talk about how important it is that you have chosen the format you have or important that you do choose a format. Because no matter what kind of format you have, deciding it and treating each other with respect, having conversations in meaningful ways, that is far more important to the business relationships you're building than the actual format of your meeting. So the mission of the mission statement for BNI, this is something that Rob and Zach and all of our colleagues and I take very seriously, is, is to help you, our members, increase your business. And the way that we do that is through a structured, positive, and professional referral program. That's what the BNI system is. And that's what enables you to develop those great long-term and meaningful relationships you have with the quality professional people in your chapter and the people you're inviting to ch your chapter who may become members. And so if you are in a format that's online part of the time or all of the time, you are doing a great job of walking out that core value of traditions plus innovation. We've had the same agenda for 30 some years. And now that we've all experienced Zoom at least a little bit, we can even upgrade it more and take it to the next level and keep innovating and improving the process for our members and our visitors. You're also able to minimize or eliminate commutes. If you're already at the office with a client, Hop over to another Zoom channel for your meeting. If you're already at home or you have childcare issues, we're seeing that not only is this an efficient way to do your meetings, but it also helps cast a really wide net for your visitors. The same things that are appealing to you are appealing to your visitors. So we don't want the online chapters to feel like they're second best because there are fewer of you than people who were eager to go back in person. You have all kinds of advantages that in-person meetings don't have. And I wanna cover just a few of those today. Specifically, we have the opportunity to mind the gap. Let's close the gap between the moment when people first log into their meetings and when you actually start the scheduled part of the agenda. In-person meetings don't have to worry about this and be so intentional because open networking is more organic and it kind of flows. But for you as presidents of online chapters, we wanna take advantage of all of the opportunities we can to set the tone and that starts as soon as people log in. So you may wanna have music playing like I did for this meeting. You might want to have some smooth jazz if you're trying to wake people up with it for an early morning meeting or jazz at lunchtime, depending on when your meeting is. You may also just want to have quiet so you can hold conversations during that time. And maybe you want to use birthday music. Maybe you have your feature presentation start with a walk-up music. Uh, whatever you want to do to kind of inject some energy, music is a way that you can possibly do that. 
Also, as the president, since you're setting the tone, you can also position yourself and have credibility as a leader by greeting people proactively. So as soon as somebody logs in and you see them, you say, hey, Rob, I'm so glad you're here. Great to see you. Hey, Zach, I hope you had a great weekend. I heard you had a big soccer game. And then you start talking to the people, building relationships. Visitors log in, see that you're in charge. That's so good for your credibility. Calling people my name shows that you're building relationships. And then finally, we're going to talk a little bit about breakout rooms, since so many of you are already using them. We know we have breakout rooms for our visitors at the orientation at the end, but it's also a great room to a great way to maybe have some more interesting conversations than just, hey, how's it going? How was your weekend? What are you doing this weekend? So there's a way to engage people in those, and you're not having 25 people talking over one another for that open networking part. So a couple of questions that you might have as go-to questions uh, might be like, uh, what's been the highlight of your week so far? Or who's encouraged you this week? Maybe you have an interesting client story to tell or a problem that you solved. I love thinking about challenges or goals in a business and who we need to meet so that we can achieve those goals. I need to, I need to hire some people. All right, great. Maybe that's gonna be my weekly presentation. Flesh it all out in your open networking and have a separate room for your visitors to set up the expectations for them. One of the things that I discovered recently that maybe some of you as presidents coming in might not know how to do is that if you have a question on a slide, you can share it to your breakout rooms. So when you do that pull down, that drop down menu in the dot, dot, dot in the more section, when it says share to breakout rooms, whatever slide you're sharing on your screen, once everybody's in their breakout rooms, you can share that to the breakout rooms so they can remember what the question is and new people coming into the room can also see what it is and get caught up right away. Again, something you can't do very easily in an in-person meeting. And then this little thing will pop up to say, don't, don't, just so you know, this is gonna be shared in all of the rooms and you only have to see that once if you choose to. But I thought that was an interesting feature. Whatever it is you're showing, maybe it's a picture and you talk about that, but people in the breakout rooms can all see the same thing. So just two more things that you might consider. Maybe you've seen this done well, and I would love for you to put things into the chat and let us know how that works. An important aspect of the meeting is kind of subliminal and visual, especially when you have an online meeting. I'm looking at everyone's background the whole 90 minutes. So if I didn't know anything about BNI, but I was looking at Rob's background, I'm looking, going, what is BNI? And it's, it's already starting to stir up some curiosity in me. So you can use your backgrounds to have your business logo, your contact information. As presidents, you can also do it as a meeting stimulant. Send something between your meetings to say, next Tuesday on our call, I want everyone to have a seasonal background. And we're going to have a contest. Who has the best fall background or something that represents your business, a problem you solve. You can use those backgrounds really subtly, or you can use them very, very intentionally. Maybe if you have someone very talented in your chapter, on a big visitor day, you could have all the members of your chapter with the same background that someone makes for your chapter, and then the visitors will be able to identify right away who are the members and who are the other visitors. Lots of ways without you making any announcements, without it being a big deal, you can just see it. This is a huge advantage to having an online meeting. Um, and Ellen has a good point too. Sometimes the deer horns in your office will land right on your head. That also could be something very visual, but perhaps not what you intended it to be. <laughs> Ah, that's great. And yes, Abilio, you can send messages to people in the breakout rooms too to say, hey, we have two more minutes, then we're bringing everybody back. That's good. Uh, Shelly, I will share in the chat a little bit later how you can do the music online. I also like that feature. It's just kind of hard to talk sometimes, so you have to use the chat. All right, and then the last thing that I wanted to bring, bring to your attention is the cameras and the lighting angle. I thought this was a really interesting quote that we are wired to respond to faces. And so if you're on Zoom and your face is dark or if it's shadowed or if you're wearing a hat and people can't see you, it has an effect on us that we may not even be aware of. So be in a place where you are seen, where you are addressed at least from here up in a professional way, 
have a camera on instead of just maybe joining on your phone. We know it's not always possible, but it is one of the best ways to ensure the culture of the chapter is one of engagement. Everybody is seen, everybody is heard, they all mean to be there. So that's something you can set as a precedent and maybe put into the chat with your visitors. Hey, we'd love to see your face. I hope it's okay if you turn on your camera because that's something that is, um, as human beings, that's something that resonates with us. All right, so before I turn it over to my colleagues for all of the new and fun stuff they have, I wonder if you would just mind putting into the chat other things that you have found helpful to increase the engagement in your chapter. What are the things that you've seen as you visit chapters or things that your chapter is doing that really seem to make everybody excited about participating in the meeting because it's a different kind of energy online and we, we have to be kind of intentional about that. So I'm gonna scroll through here and see if I see anything. Uh, visitor breakout rooms are such a great idea. Yes, whoa, why did I, why did I do that? All right, you keep you keep going in the chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna fix things <laughs> like it never happened. What? All right, let's see what you're saying. Ask them to clap or snap. Yes, even just visually. I love that. I was at a chapter where they went like this as clapping. I thought that was fun too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You get your background noise. Online wheel. I love that. Mm-hmm. Change the order, yeah. Weekly themed presentations, so, so good. Telling stories, laughing, the quote of the day. Maybe you have a theme of the day, yeah. QR code with your business card, that's very, very smart. Yeah, you can embed timers into the slides so your weekly presentations move along. Yes, yes, yes. Keep putting those in here because we want to see them. But I also want you to see my colleagues who are going to tell you very wonderful things about things to come, traditions plus innovation. These are my colleagues, Zach Roberts and Rob Gorecki. Zach is a product analyst on the platform growth team, and he has been working very hard on the things that he's about to present to you. And Rob Gorecki is another one of our colleagues. He is the Senior Director of Strategic Development. So all, you know that these guys are all about thinking through the big picture and the details, and what they are going to share with you is going to be good for your online meeting. You will not understand all of the details of it at once because we just did this yesterday, and I'm guessing it's a very similar crowd because it's, it's all new language. It's it, what? How, we can't picture it. You may get it all. But I just want you to know that if you don't, you're in good company and we have lots of follow-up planned. So you'll get these slides, you'll get more information, we'll have follow-up trainings, follow-up emails for you as president, and you're not going to do this next week. We are still working out some bugs, making sure we have a good timeline for the rollout. So everybody be patient and you will have your hands on this new tool as quickly as we can get it to you without any bugs. So without further ado, I am going to turn, I'm going to stop sharing because I'm going to do it on purpose this time. And I'm going to turn things over to Zach and Rob. Wonderful. Thank you, Jenny. And good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody on the line. I think we have uh, presidents and leaders from all over the U.S. Uh, and maybe even internationally um, today. And so it is fantastic to be here. Uh, as I'm bringing up my slides, uh, let's see a bunch of virtual round of applause for Jenny. She has been crushing these leadership team trainings. Uh, and so appreciate her sharing some time with us today to talk about BNI Online 2.0. Uh, I'm joined by my colleague, Zach Roberts. Uh, the two of us are going to split some time going through um, a little bit about what is BNI Online 2.0. But before we dive in, just want to take a couple minutes to recognize all of you uh, and thank you for uh, your roles in really helping BNI to reach the heights that it has uh, and will continue to grow. Um, it's fantastic. I think over the last two days, Zach and I have had a chance to interact with over 350 uh, presidents and leaders from all around BNI. And so it's really just been an honor and a pleasure and want to thank all of you for what you have done and will continue to do to help BNI succeed and grow. And so with that, we are going to jump into BNI Online 2.0. And um, if I can get my slide to move here, here we go. And so what is BNI Online 2.0? And so BNI Online 
is a new and engaging way for you and your members uh, of online and hybrid chapters to experience your meeting. BNI Online 2.0 is a new application that'll work on desktops for Windows or Mac users that really is gonna just amp up the level of productivity and engagement for all of your members during your meeting experience. We are super excited to uh, share a live demo and talk about all the benefits of what BNI Online 2.0 is gonna do here shortly. Uh, but in summary, it's really gonna take what had traditionally been a BNI meeting that was powered by Zoom and run by Zoom and take it to new heights and really create a bespoke custom BNI experience. What this is gonna do is really gonna elevate the online meeting format for BNI and really help differentiate us from competitors, really help create a wow moment uh, for new members, uh, help with existing members, and really just elevate uh, all of our games when it comes to the online portion of hybrid or the online uh, meetings for, for BNI. BNI on 2.0 has a ton of exciting features. Uh, we're gonna talk about all of these when we do the live demo, but at a high level, uh, it allows you to automatically log into your meeting. No more remembering long Zoom links, nine digit passwords, uh, long codes, um, all those security things. You're just gonna log in with your BNI Connect credentials. Same way you log into Connect, it's gonna know exactly who you are, what chapter you're in, what your Zoom link is, and take you right to your uh, weekly BNI online meeting. You're gonna have the ability to share your Ask of the Week and download your chapters uh, Ask of the Week and use those throughout your week, throughout your day to help continue to uh, provide and give to your chapter. It's gonna allow you the ability to auto schedule one-to-ones. Building relationships is a core value for BNI. And it's gonna allow you to do that uh, with just a few simple clicks. An ability to view where you stand, how you're doing, what your stats are, how your chapter's doing, and really connect with fellow members more seamlessly. And so we're super excited to be here today to share all about that. One of the things though, whenever we talk about something new, the first question we always get asked is, new usually means change. What is gonna change for me? What does this mean for how I join my meetings? Is this something new that's gonna take a long time to learn, a long time to master? And the good news is no. Most of how you're experiencing your online meeting today is gonna to stay exactly the same. It's gonna be really just a way that we augment the online experience today. And so your meeting's still gonna run the same way. You're gonna do everything that you have been doing in your online meetings exactly the same way. You'll see in the demo, all we did was we added additional features to the Zoom meeting. So it's almost as if when Zoom added polls and there was a new button that popped up for polls and things like that. It's almost gonna be a similar experience to that where there's just new ways to enhance your meeting, but not a new way to learn and run your meeting. Visitors and CSCs will still join the same way. And so if you are a visitor or a CSC joining a chapter that's not yours, you'll just click on the normal Zoom link the same way you get registered today, the same way someone may invite you to a meeting. The great news about this application, it works uh, whether one person in the chapter is using it or 100% of the, uh, your chapter members are using it. It's not dependent on the other chapter members. That being said, there's a lot more value if everyone is using it. And so we're gonna talk about all the reasons why 100% of your chapter should be using it. But if you decide that uh, this week you have a lot going on, you don't wanna learn something new, you're gonna save it to next week, just join your Zoom meeting the way you always have. It'll work seamlessly, no changes, will be very easy for all members, visitors, and CSCs. When you're in your meeting, Zoom's gonna look exactly the same, it's gonna function exactly the same how to mute yourself, how to chat, how to share a screen, all of that is gonna look exactly the same. We all went through those learning curves over the last few years as we learned online and hybrid, and we're not forcing you to learn how to do a virtual meeting again. And so that is another great feature. Zoom is gonna stay exactly the same. Presidents and the leadership team, whoever is hosting your meeting will still be the host. They're still gonna run the slides exactly the same way as you have been. You're gonna manage breakout rooms. You're gonna manage the meeting. All of that is staying exactly the same which should help make all of your lives hopefully easier. There are a few things that are changing for the better though. Oops, sorry, wrong way. Again, it's gonna be a new way to join your Zoom chapter meeting. If you prefer to join this way, which we highly recommend, you won't have to remember long passwords, you won't have to remember Zoom links, BNI Connect login, and you're right into your chapter meeting. It's adding a ton of new features to use before, during, and after the meeting, which I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on because Zach is gonna give us a great demo here in just a couple minutes, but there are a handful of features and the good news is it's not static. We have a dedicated technology team that we've partnered with that is coming out with new releases every few weeks 
And so just like your iPhone, your uh, Android phone, any smart device you have, constant new features, always going to be updated to continue to provide uh, the latest and greatest that we can for all of you and your members. Here's a quick screenshot of what it looks like, just so you have it in your PowerPoint that we'll share here at the end. There'll also be a video that is done by the great Jeremy Walsh. Um, and so for anyone that wants to reference a video uh, later, there'll be a great video here that you can use uh, as well to get a sense of what the new BNI Online application is. Before we dive into the live demo though, wanna just reiterate again, how easy it is to use the new BNI Online 2.0. There's just three simple steps you have to do to be able to use it. Number one, which is mandatory and important, is updating your Zoom settings. It's not a whole bunch of updates. Most chapters probably actually already have their Zoom settings set up correctly, but we just wanna double check. And so in this slide deck that we share, plus in all the materials you'll get as uh, leaders in your regions and your chapters, we'll have a step-by-step -step easy uh, guide on how to update your Zoom settings. From there, you just install and use BNI Online 2.0. I'm gonna walk through in a high level how you install it. It's exactly the same if you, the way you installed Zoom, the way you install PowerPoint on your computer, any application you're currently using. Super easy, install it the same way, and so we'll talk through that. And then collect and send any feedback to your CSEs and to Zach and I. We are always trying to make the app better, and nobody knows how to make it better than you as members, you as the frontline users using it. And so share your feedback with us. All of that is gonna help us continue to make new iterations of the app that are better than ever. Utilizing it is gonna be easier than ever. So our team partnering with Jenny and her great team, we have all sorts of download and install instructions. We have all kinds of meeting and education moment guides. So when you're hyping this up in your chapter, you can use the education moment slot in your chapter meeting and we have uh, pre-set up trainings and slides that you could pop right in so that way it's uh, no work, super easy to get it hyped up in your chapter. We have tons of feature presentations and videos that you'll be able to share with all your chapter members to make sure that they're understanding fully how to download, use all the great features, how to get the most out of it, uh, already prepared and easy that you'll receive when it's time to roll it out for your chapter. We'll also have an FAQ sheet. So any of those questions that you get, we've seen them all. We continue to get more. We're updating the FAQ sheet all the time so that way you can answer and feel confident as a leader in your chapter, answering any questions that may come up. I'm going to go through this super quick because we're going to send all this out, but just wanted to show you how easy it is to install this. Uh, this is a Windows version. We also have a Mac version. They're almost identical, just some of the icons look a little bit different. But when it's time for your chapter to use the new application, you'll receive a link to the website that you see on the screen here. And when you click that link, you'll get a nice simple form. You just fill out that form. Once you fill out that form, you'll receive an email almost instantaneously welcoming you to the program with the link on how to download the application. You follow that link, it'll open up on your website the same way anything else does. Usually the bottom of my browser pops up and it says click here to download. You click that and it'll open up a setup wizard just like any other application you've ever downloaded. Super easy, you just hit next, you follow along until you get to the finish and then you download it, it'll download to your computer, and you've been able now to access and launch the BNI Online 2.0 app. So it's very simple. We have all these guides set up for you. We'll be sure to share those after this call uh, and in future communications, but just wanted again to share and show how easy it is to use the new uh, BNI Online 2.0 application. And so maybe Jenny will take just a quick moment to answer any uh, quick high-level questions that maybe are popping up. Uh, and while I do that, I'm going to stop sharing so Zach can have a chance to get prepared because we are going to jump right into a live demo here shortly uh, to just show you in action all the great features that it has. Okay. Yeah. Mostly, uh, I'll just reiterate what we said at the beginning because I know we had about half the people on when we started that we do now. So I'll just reiterate that we are going to send you this slide deck. You are also going to have access to other features, other slides, other documents, so that this slide deck that Rob was just going through, like if I'm going to install it on my Mac, you can have those slides open while you're doing it. You could print them. You, you'll you walk through it. And if you are the president and this is not something you're very comfortable doing, you can have somebody help walk you through this. Your coach might be a good person, somebody else in the chapter, if you have a digital marketing person, or if you've got somebody who's really good at IT, they can help set it up for you. You're just going to run the meetings, and it's a one-time thing. 
So there is a lot of stuff. A lot of people are saying, what about this? What about this? We will share the slides. Yes. Uh, I see a, there's a couple I could quickly answer. Yeah. Today, it's only for your desktop computer. We don't have a mobile version. And the reason for that was we were able to pull logs of how our members join meetings. And only 5% of members globally today are joining on mobile devices. And so we prioritize getting out a desktop application. That being said, we're constantly looking at what our members need and want. And so there may be a phone solution in the future. But today, it's just on the computer. Um, Another question I saw, Jenny, about will this replace the PowerPoint? Um, I think you've answered that, but just to reiterate, it's not going to replace the PowerPoint. It's just going to enhance the way you are able to interact with your meeting. You'll still share your PowerPoint exactly the same way. And then a great question from Ellen on, are there some good BNI training Zoom webinars? I meant to mention this earlier. Um, I did put a link into the chat bar. I think I actually still have it saved. I'll resend it. There are 12 one-hour uh, BNI tips and tricks uh, Zoom training videos right in this folder on uh, BNI University. The good news is you don't have to watch the full hour. We timestamped exactly where some of the best features are. And so, for example, in certain trainings, if you want to learn about breakout rooms, it'll say go to training five between minutes 15 and 18. That way you could just watch those three minutes. Um, but there's a ton of great videos that we produced over the last year uh, in that link on some great training videos. Before I jump in, I think there's one more question too uh, I'd like to answer, and that was a lot of people are asking about your Zoom license and your personal Zoom license, and if you have to upgrade your Zoom license. Uh, and the cool thing about this is that it piggybacks off of the the chapter itself, the Zoom license. Um, and so all of your members that are joining are actually going to get a unique Zoom login when they join. And so it doesn't have anything to do with your current one, whether you're paying for it or not. You actually get assigned your own individual sort of uh, Zoom ID when you're logged in through the BNI online app. Uh, and so nothing changes on your own Zoom side. You don't have to make anything, any changes, as, even as a member. None of that changes. You just, once you log into the app, which I'm going to show you here in just a second, but as soon as you log in, it automatically pulls you in to the Zoom um, chapter meeting for you without doing anything related to your own personal Zoom account. So that makes it really unique and really easy for all of your members to join the application. So as you can see here, we're on the main screen, uh, the login page. Uh, you have to enter in your Connect credentials here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit log in, but it's really easy. Um, all you have to do from this point on is just remember your Connect credentials, right? Uh, and then we're going to be put here to our landing page uh, once it fully loads. And so you can see here that across the top is all of your chapter information. I'm a member of the Global Support Team chapter. Uh, we have 96 members. We meet Wednesdays at 9 a.m. For you guys, it'll show a little different, right? And so um, we have also a little bit of a um, recognition for our presidents, vice presidents, and secretary treasurers. You can see here that all of this information pulls in from Connect as well. So as long as you have your picture and everything like that included, it should all be pulled in directly. Um, so down here at the bottom, you can see that we're asking for the Ask of the Week, and even this join meeting piece is grayed out. Um, all you have to do is type in a Ask of the Week here, and you have to do this every time before you join the meeting. But as soon as you do that, you can join the meeting. But I want to point out ahead of time, that everything you can get in the meeting, you can also visit outside of the meeting here under this menu. And in the menu, you can see that every all of the reports that we're about to access are visible here, as well as the best practices and about and even logout page. So everything in the app is visible and accessible outside of the app as well. So you don't have to be in your meeting to visit everything that we're going to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and join the meeting. And once it finishes loading, we're going to be at almost the exact same page. Um, so you can see once it finishes loading, but the global support team, uh, my chapter menu, my stats, everything like that is still here, how many members, and then the same thing of your homepage. It's going to be your president, uh, vice president, and secretary treasurer are all here. The only thing that we're adding are these four buttons down here at the bottom. There we go. We finally loaded in, but this is the Zoom meeting, and you can see here that it shows up in front of the BNI features that we've added. Uh, I can't turn my camera on or unmute this Zoom meeting, but as soon as you guys join this for your chapter, everything fills in here, right? So right now I'm the only one in my meeting, but as soon as my other members in my chapter would join as well, they would all be visible here. This is the Zoom screen that you know and love. None, all of the features are here. Um, and if you're the host, as soon as you claim host on it as well, all of those features like polls and, and breakout rooms and everything like that will also be accessible. So the same Zoom that you know and love, all you got to do is log in, type in your Ask of the Week, and hit Join, and it sends you right to your Zoom meeting. Very simple, right? I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And so this is the added features we've brought in, right? 
Um, and so you can see that this home page is still the same as I mentioned before, but we've got these four buttons along the bottom that we can access. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on this members tab. And what this does is it brings up a full list of all of my members in my chapter and I can search by them or I can scroll. I'm just going to go ahead and find Rob and join in. And so as you can see, um, it, it enters his ask of the week as well that I can view. So he asked for a great product team meeting. Um, but you can also see here at the top, it says his name is currently in the relationship marketing, which will be the seat that you own in your chapter. Uh, it has his email and his phone number, which are hyperlinked. So if I click on those, it would take me straight to an email to Rob or if I even have, um, like if I have FaceTime on my, my Mac computer, uh, it would automatically call him for audio for that, which is really nice. Um, it also shows how long they've been in the chapter. So you can kind of research everybody in your chapter. Uh, and then the cool fee big pieces that we've added in recently are these sort of one-to-one -one requests and this ask report. So if you click on this one-to-one -one request button right here, it'll automatically pull in an email. It'll deliver it straight to Rob, who's the person that I had highlighted, right? It'll put it in the subject, a one-to-one -one request, and it pre-fills everything for you. The only thing you have to do is come down here and insert a date and a time, and then just hit send, right? And as soon as you do that, it sends a message straight from your default on your computer, and it sends everything that you need to get started on a one-to-one -one request for your chapter, okay? And if you click on this one right here, it'll actually copy it to your clipboard. So that way, if you're not going to directly email it to them, but you want to use, you know, like you want to use Teams or um, WhatsApp or any of the other apps, or even just, you know, send it a different way, um, you can always do that that way. And it'll copy that text for you immediately rather than just open your default client. Uh, and the same thing we have here is this ask report. So if you click on the little eyeball, I can see Rob's ask for the last four meetings. Um, you can see that we've been doing a lot of testing here on it but it'll show the last four meetings. And so if, if, you know, I'm like, oh, Rob had a great ask last week, but I don't really remember what it is. I can come in here and see his last four specifically for Rob. I can also download that list as well. Um, and that would, because we're in Rob's page that goes directly to Rob. And so this is the member screen that we have here. If I go up to the menu and I click on this ask report here, then I can actually download the same list with the ask report for my entire chapter over those last four meetings, right? You can see everybody here. Um, and if I click on download, it'll download these four meetings for my entire chapter. And that you can, it saves it in an Excel spreadsheet for you. So you can have that to review chapter presidents. You can also send this out in your follow-up. All of those great things are already incorporated in the app. Um, I'm going to move on here to now we have the chapter stats. And so this shows your thank you for closed business, referrals, CEUs, and one-to-ones in your chapter. Uh, as you can see here, our mock chapter is absolutely crushing it with $87 billion and thank you for closed business over the last four weeks. Um, we also have my stats. And if you can see here, I have not contributed to that, unfortunately, but um, this is would show my specific thank you for closed business, referrals, CEUs, and one-to-ones over the same time period of the last four weeks, right? That's rolling for you. Uh, and then finally, we have this ask box. And so you can see here that the ask that I typed in in the very beginning is still here, but let's say I made a typo or I want to update it based off of somebody else's. Um, and I'm like, oh, that was a great idea. Let me sort of, you know, change my ask. I can come in here and update it myself if I can spell correctly. Uh, I'm going to add a commercial realtor in Charlotte instead. And that way, when I hit save and it updates successfully, that updates in real time for all of your chapter members, right? So now I can come back to this member screen and I can search for myself. And you can see that my ask of the week has updated here in real time. So everything that you're doing in the app is live and updated between all of you. Um, so if you update your ask, everybody in your chapter can also see that you've done that. And when you go to download the asks as well, it'll save the most recent one that you did for that meeting. So if you update it, it doesn't show your old ones. It'll only show your newest and uh, latest and greatest, if you will. So that was a quick walkthrough of the app. Rob, is there anything else you'd like to add on to this one? No, nothing um, immediately that comes to mind. Just, I think Zach, you did a, a great job there. The thing just want to reiterate, um, and we talked a little bit about yesterday, is we try and make it as seamless as possible to be integrated into your chapter meeting, right? There's a ton of great features and ideas that we continue to learn about, but we want to make sure that we're trying to find ways to enhance the meeting, but not be overly distracting in the meeting. And so everything we try to do, we try to make as simple as possible. The one-to-ones is just a couple clicks. You don't have to sit there and think about what you want to type out in the email, so that way they're not forgetting what's happening in the chapter meeting. 
Um, and so hopefully that as chapters use this week over week, it becomes almost second nature. They're able to focus on their chapter meeting. They know when to click on certain things to so just quickly schedule one to one so they don't forget. And then some of the more detailed things, as Zach pointed out earlier, they can do outside of their chapter meetings. They can uh, use this at any point, even if they're not fully logged in, download asks, print them out, use that as they're having other meetings throughout the week, et cetera. Um, and so that's all feedback that we've gotten from members that we've tried to t incorporate into the application as it is today. Yeah, and, and sort of to piggyback on that, right? If you think about this and, and you're like me where you get overwhelmed very quickly and you're like, wow, that's a lot of buttons and I'm not really sure, you know, at the, the program we've designed it to be extremely uh, simplistic as much as possible, right? So at the end of the day, if you're trying to access your, your meeting, the only thing you have to do is you have to, once it's downloaded, right, is you log into the app, you type in your Ask of the Week and you hit join, right? And then you'll get these two screens that pop up. All you have to do is either minimize the global support, uh, the, the app itself, the BNI online piece, or you can just go full screen on your Zoom meeting and then you, that's it, right? There's no pop-ups, there's no bells, there's no whistles. You just have your regular Zoom meeting the way that you normally would. And then when you're done, you can either exit out of the Zoom meeting or, or as soon as the, the meeting is finished, then you can come back into the app and explore or type in your asks of the week or you know, any of the things that you want to do in the app itself. You can always just do that after the meeting. So it doesn't have to be something you click on in the middle of the meeting. You can just full screen your Zoom meeting outside of that, fully ignore the app itself, but it's still a faster and simpler way just for you to access your your, your online meeting on a weekly basis. I think, Jenny, maybe we should start answering some questions yeah, over the last few so minutes too. here. Probably, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so I saw you highlighted some, which is great. Um, a great question about for certain industries, they have heavy firewalls and issues with installing this. We do understand that. We are trying our best to uh, work around that as much as possible. We have had some industries where they just can't download any third party application to their computer, uh, including Zoom, so they have to use the web client. If that's the case, unfortunately, you won't be able to download it to a work computer. If you do have a personal device, though, you should be able to download it there. Uh, but we are, we do know that is something that uh, is a challenge for some members and something we are looking uh, into in the future on how to be more inclusive for, for all industries that maybe have certain restrictions. Um, Tony had a great question about after you adopt this, should this platform be used for one-to-ones? It's a little tricky to use for one-to-ones because it ties directly to the same meeting link that is used for your chapter Zoom account. And so if it's not during that time and that chapter Zoom account is not uh, set up to be on at that time, you won't be able to use it for the video section. Or if other members are trying to have a one-to-one -one at the same time, they'll pop into the room at the same time as you as it doesn't create new individual Zoom meeting links. That being said, we've gotten great feedback about how this could be used for one-to-ones, uh, not just from yourself. And so um, we don't necessarily know when it's going to roll out, but it is something that uh, is potentially uh, on a roadmap that could we could see in the future. I'll, I'll grab the next one. We'll sort of alternate here if it's easiest. So, um, Megan, I see your question here and says, uh, would the app, the online 2.0, work for our PC users but not affect our um, Zoom users? And that's, uh, and I'm sorry, mobile users. And the answer there is, is anybody who's in the app and then also anybody who joins Zoom the standard way, whether that's mobile or, you know, like we just mentioned, your company has really strict firewalls and so you can't join. Everybody can join Zoom the standard way and everybody can join Zoom through your online, um, through BNI Online 2.0, or you can have a mixture of the two and Zoom will still function the exact same way. So if I'm a mobile user and I join through Zoom, I will see, you know, everybody else who joined through BNI Online 2.0 the exact same way I would today. So nothing has changed for the Zoom piece of that. This is just an easier way for members to access Zoom that can use BNI Online 2.0, if that answers the question for you. Um, see a couple questions also about um, if you use a scheduling service like Calendly, can you have that automatically inserted? Today, it doesn't. Um, again, a great suggestion, Tony. Um, we have a whole list of features that we'd love to add. We can add uh, this to the list as well. Um, you could just copy and paste it into that email where there's that section for it. Uh, but today, we, we do not uh, have that ability to also link it to your personal like calendar or scheduling service. But the, your, what you type in for your Ask of the Week uh, can be hyperlinked. So if your ask of the week is to schedule more one-to-ones with your fellow chapter members, you can hyperlink that Calendly link in there 
and all of your members that are using the BNI Online 2.0 app as well in your chapter can go to your, your member profile and click on that hyperlink in your um, Ask of the Week section, and it'll open it up for you. So we did include hyperlinks in those um, Ask of the Week sections. So even if even if you have an actual ask of the week, but you still have a link that's you know something you've presented in, for your business, or you need people to go and click on a different thing, and that's part of your ask, that can be hyperlinked in that ask of the week. Darcy had a great question about what is the login required for the chapter Zoom account? We log in with Zoom, or we log in through the BNI app. And so you, the, what we suggest is you just log in right through the BNI app. Uh, as Zach showed earlier, you just log in with your BNI Connect credentials, and it'll take you right into your chapter meeting. Uh, from now on, the only time you really need your Zoom login credentials is if you're going and scheduling uh, a new link that, for whatever reason, you need to update on BNI Connect. You need to go in and change some of your settings on Zoom.com. That's the only time you'll need that one. From here, you can just log in with your BNI Connect credentials right into this app and it'll work uh, fantastic. And so um, I think Jenny, that's most of the open questions in the Q and A. Um, I see that there um, maybe, I don't know if there are many other questions in the chat there, bar. There was um, one I, that I thought was kind of interesting and maybe you guys covered it and I don't know because um, I was answering another question, but someone asked if you can um, put your ask of the week in in advance of the meeting or do you have to do it right when you log in? Yeah, un unfortunately, the way the ask gets recorded is when you join the meeting. Um, and so you won't be able to put it in uh, early, um, but once, but you could join the meeting a little bit early. I know Jenny said early equals on time earlier, which I love that. Um, but um, it's a great uh, suggestion, though, and something we can, can look into. Um, but uh, I love uh, that suggestion. But today, when you enter that ask, that's how you actually join the meeting. That's sort of your key into uh, the chapter meeting. I see a question from Maxine. Uh, first of all, Maxine, it's great to virtually be here with you again today. Um, but will you still be in gallery view? You have all the same controls on Zoom as you did uh, previously. So you can put it in speaker view if you prefer that. You could put it in gallery view. Uh, whatever you'd like, um, you can still use all those, those uh, features and functionalities of Zoom. I think Shelly had a question about, do you still use the PowerPoint for the meeting, but the participants participants and platform look more professional? That's exactly right. Uh, it's going to feel like a great new experience joining your online meeting, but you're still going to share your PowerPoint uh, exactly the way you had before. I do want to just mention one thing. Um, uh, Heather Sadler, I don't know if we've ever met, but I appreciate it. I see you have answered a ton of questions in the chat, and so you are our, our pseudo pro at BNI Online 2.0. So Heather, uh, appreciate it. Thank you for helping to keep us uh, caught up in the chat as well. <laughs> One thing I did want to touch on uh, while we're talking about it is there are some settings uh, on the Zoom side that need to be adjusted um, in order to make the BNI Online 2.0 platform work. And those are included in the, um, the, the PDF deck that is sent out for this. And so as a president, it, you will have to go in once um, and adjust all of those settings. But once the settings have been adjusted and set the one time, and then you verify that that same link is still in Connect, um, then you're good to go for, you know, un until you need to change it again. But for now, uh, that is part of the presentation and those will have to be done uh, is to adjust your, your Zoom settings. Um, but it's not something that necessarily you have to do either. You can find somebody who's more in your chapter, who's a little bit more tech savvy that uh, you can log in through your chapter Zoom account and just adjust the settings at one time. Should take you less than five minutes. Um, and as soon as that's upgraded and ready to go for your chapter, then you can go live and everyone can use the BNI Online 2.0. Only the president has to update it or a member of your team, I guess, in your chapter, and it only has to be done the once. So it's really easy. Um, and as soon as that's done, then your your online is set up and you're good to go. For the and most chapters, I think, are already yeah. set up the right way. So it's just a great way just to uh, just to go in and double check. But it should be a quick five minute exercise. Right. I see a lot of questions also about when to access it. I saw Jenny put the answer in the chat, but just in case you didn't see it, um, we are piloting in a few regions right now uh, in the UK, actually. Um, and then it is coming uh, to the U.S. and the U.S. core next. Um, and as Jenny said, it'll be in the second half of October or the beginning of November, depending on what region you're in. We want to make sure that all of you have ample time to 
uh, read the training materials, get uh, up to speed on it. So any questions you have from your chapter, you feel uh, very happy to uh, answer easily and then um, be able to roll it out sort of region by region within the U.S. That way, God forbid, anything does pop, uh, we're able to uh, mitigate it on a smaller scale uh, rather than turning on the entire U.S. Uh, all on one day. But it'll be in a, a very sort of quick succession between uh, the middle of October through uh, early November. I see just maybe a couple other questions about some other just quick short lists. Um, that way you could share with your chapter on benefits of using this compared to a Zoom meeting. Um, yes, one, the login, as you mentioned, Linda, uh, being able to see the links for the stats, et cetera, the other great ones we found is that's super helpful is being able to schedule one-to-ones very quickly during your meeting. Um, I know that I've been in meetings before where I've said, oh, I need to make sure I schedule one-to-one -one with Zach, and then the meeting goes on, and then I get pulled in a bunch of different directions, and I forget to schedule it. And so when I hear a great ask of the week, I can just click that button and schedule one-to-one -one instantly with that member. Uh, I can view the member's asks of that week and all four weeks. So it's similar to um, sort of like the chapter roster report where you can download that take it with you to other meetings throughout your week, be able to see what your who your chapter members are looking to connect with, what their asks are throughout the week. Um, and then the other great news is this is just the beginning. This is just the base. And so, as we mentioned earlier, we have a dedicated technology team that is focused on taking all the great feedback that uh, all of you will be providing as you use this application, other members will be providing, and uh, continuing to improve it. And so, what this application looks like a month from now uh, we'll have even more features. Six months from now, it'll have more features. And so uh, every iteration of it will continue to provide more and more value. All right. I'll go in and jump in to answer two quick questions I see here. Uh, Leah, I see that you're asking questions about uh, the way to make your slides in your background. So you look at your are on top of the slides. Rob shared the link earlier, and that's part of the, the business builder trainings. Uh, and it, said, it shows you how to do that. And I think he said there was 12 trainings of an hour long each, but you can sort of they give a synopsis, and so you can jump to the, the hot second uh, or like, you know, a minute or two um, rundown of how to do that. But it's part of the trainings that Rob included uh, linked above. Maybe we'll link them again. It's probably easier. Um, and then Greg asks, um, this is a great way to make things more convenient for presidents, but what's the end goal? Um, and Greg, the easy answer is, is it's not just for presidents, right? This is for all of your members in your chapter. So the, the way that the BNI Online 2.0 works is it's, the more members in your chapter that use it, the better the app becomes, right? So right now, let's say I'm the only member of my chapter that uses the app. Then for me entering the ask of the week, the only person that I can see the ask for is myself. So anybody who's just joining Zoom the standard way, unfortunately does not have a way of entering that ask of the week uh, to be tracked in the in BNI Online 2.0. But if I have, you know, 60 of my 65 members of my chapter using the app, then I can see all 60 of those members asks of the week, right? And so, uh, and I can email all of them for a one-to-one -one and everything like that. So the more people that use the app, the more the better and stronger it is for your chapter, uh, and the more benefit all of you get as members. So it's highly encouraged that you can get as many people from your chapter to use the app as possible so that everyone can have a better experience together, right? And so it's not just for presidents. This is for your entire um, membership base for your chapter. And, you know, Zach, as you were saying that, I, I was already thinking about the, the great level of accountability there is in having an ask, because then you are helping people to be more prepared at the beginning of the meeting, and you can see what other people are asking for. But wouldn't it be a great scenario if you're sitting there and you've got 30 people in your chapter and somebody says, I would really like to meet, my ask of the week is to make, meet the HR director at company ABC. And while you're there using the app, you put in a, uh, a request for a one-to-one, -one, you schedule a one-to-one, -one, and in the note you say, I know the HR director at such and such, let's get a one-to-one -one because I think I can make an introduction for you. You're taking care of it in the moment while they're doing the ask, and then you, you don't have to try to remind yourself and, and take a note later. These are the kind of things that can happen in real time, and you're, you're right there in the meeting, and you can help each other, I think, even more efficiently than you're doing right now. Do I understand the app right? Could that happen, guys? You are an expert, correct. Correct. You're okay. an expert. <laughs> well, we've done this a few times now. I'm learning. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you well, can Jen, pass I know we just have, 
I know we just have a few minutes left, Jenny, so I want to make sure that um, if you want to have any closing remarks or wrap up, I think uh, Zach and I are always available to answer any other questions. Um, I will put my email in the chat bar here. Um, it is just rob at bni.com, but if you have any other questions or ideas, uh, please feel free to send them along. Uh, and thank you for allowing us to be here with you today. Yes, thank you, everybody. Um, I will add mine as well into the chat bar, and so you can feel free to contact me as well. I know you all have mine, and you should not contact me for this. <laughs> you should <laughs> leapfrog right over Jenny Butts and go to Zach or to Rob for any of the specifics. <laughs> you guys had good questions. Yes, uh, you know what, Gina? That's a good question about how you'll get the slides. We are probably going to send these slides to all presidents of online mm -hmm. chapters, not just the ones who were here. That way, the ones who weren't able to can still do a little catch up. And along with that, we have this recording. So we will download the recording and we'll upload that somewhere where you can have access to that as well. So that presidents who weren't able to make, we know these two times weren't convenient for everybody. So we'll make it available so you can go check it out later. And if there were parts you missed, you can you know fast forward to the screen you wanted to see, and then you can listen to Zach and Rob talk again. All right. Uh, yes, that's a great idea, Melinda. We can get the CSEs a copy of this too, because and and either Zach or Rob, somebody will also be on the core team call for all of the core CSEs on Tuesday. I'm committing Harmony to that, even though she doesn't know I'm committing her to it. Uh, so they will be on there, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the timeline of which re where we'll roll this out, uh, at what date, so you can know what to expect. All right. Um, okay. Well, thank you, everybody. And uh, we've got three minutes left. I guess we can just look at the chat and see. Oh, what about the VP that are here? Do we get the info as well? Uh, it is going to be very challenging. I can say from the communications and training standpoint, of course, it was challenging enough for us to find different roles for 10,000 people who were doing their various roles in the training this month. For us to go through and try to determine who was here, who wasn't a president is going to be far more challenging. So we are going to send lots of follow-up information to all leadership team members in October. You'll get some special communications just for our core leaders. But for this particular training, we are going to concentrate our communications on the presidents and the chapter success coaches. And then from there, it can trickle down to the people it needs to. When it refers to just members um, logging in or using the app or how to do that, we will send information to all members. So it'll either be presidents and coaches or everybody. But watch, if you see an email that has any of our three names on it, that's probably what it has to do with, and you should read it and file it away for future sure. reference. We're also, uh, for all of you that, that like to send other people to attend one of these meetings live, we will also be on the BNI Talks webinar on Friday at noon. Uh, if I could find the link for it, I would share it in the chat. I'm sure Jenny's got it. Um, but you can send anybody and everybody there to, to watch us uh, do the same sort of a conversation um, and sort of go over the app. And so any VPs or anybody that you're worried is not really going to get the same information or they, you, know, you think they'd benefit from seeing it live, we will also be on the... Um, BNI Talks webinar at Friday, uh, yes, September 30th at noon uh, Eastern. So anybody and everybody is welcome to join that as well. I am going to put the link. I'm going to do it right now. Thank you. I am. Yeah. Perfect. Instructions for music, please. <laughs> yeah. If you <laughs> want to play music in your meeting, there are probably other ways to do this. And if any of you know a different way, please feel free to put that in the chat. But what I do is once you share your screen, you will have the option. There's a drop down. You'll have the option that it says share sound. So you'll pull down the drop down after your but I, there's a different way to do it if you're not sharing a screen. But as president, you will be sharing a screen. So it doesn't matter. You'll It'll do share sound. And then whatever you're playing, I just have a separate window open with YouTube and I find the video that I want to play. You could also use Spotify if you wanted to, but I just have a YouTube song that I'm playing and then that sound will come through on the computer and then you just turn it down, turn it off. And when that stops or you close that window, then it's quiet on your Zoom again. That's how I did it, but there are probably other ways to do that too. You can do a Bose Bluetooth speaker. Yes, that is also possible. Oh, yeah, and I was going to put my slides in there as well, wasn't I?
yeah, so we just attached the slide deck there uh, for anybody who's interested in downloading it uh, and having that so that you can review everything we talked about today and way, way, way more in that slide deck. So all the information you could ever need on BNI Online 2.0 is included in that slide deck. Yeah, that's true, what he said. I'm trying to find my slide. Nope, that's what you already put up. On the struggle bus, Jenny Butts is on the struggle bus. Oh, well, I'll, I'll send it as the follow-up, my slides, if anybody's interested. <laughs> okay, one minute past the hour. We stole a minute. We don't want to steal more. We release you into the wild and hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Jenny. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.